Good morning, good day, good afternoon. My name is Alexander Moroz and uh, I'm the lead de developer of Moroz Video Capture, the program that I use today to capture my tutorial, um, as well as graphic designer, uh, geek, um, hardware guy, overclocker. So just watch my tutorials, I will teach you a lot of stuff, as well as programmer and different stuff programming, texturing, graphics, 3D stuff, hardware and different IT things like a skills. So uh, today, uh, like I told you, I will teach you how to create a seamless uh, texture that you can use for your 3D application, for your design or even in the game designing. In the game designing, we're going to take it to the uh, further level. I'm not going to discuss uh, to you with you today about it but uh, I, I will create a tutorial how to create the textures for the game engines but anyways uh, today I'm just gonna show you how to create the seamless texture so as you can see I'm a photographer as well and a good one by the way uh, I took this shot with my Nikon camera and it's a tree and before every time when I'm uh, taking a shot for the textures I'm, I'm, I have perfect image in my in my brain how I would like to see that and um, that shot because I already know what kind of techniques I'm gonna apply to that shot to make it uh, seamless to make it suitable for my needs um, so I'm using Photoshop CS4 but you can use any Photoshop this method will apply to any Photoshop I'm gonna show you the easy method today so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna create a, a rectangular marquee tool or you can just push M and I'm going to zoom out do, 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 do. I'm holding ALT so you can zoom out and release the alt you can zoom in so alt zoom out to see my image and I'm gonna select the about that much area and what I'm trying to do I'm trying to copy this and apply my me methods to create a seamless texture so I'm gonna copy this big portion of the image I'm gonna create edit copy or you can click Control C. I'm just gonna use. I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna use without the hotkeys, so it's it's going to be easy for you to understand and learn. So I'm copy that layer, and I'm gonna create uh, the new file, the new image. You can click Control N or File New, and I'm gonna say here. 552 and width it's going to be our width of our image over here and I want to double it so I want to say I want to have it 100 140 uh, double of that edit paste or control V my select tool gonna move it and click on channels and back to layers it's gonna show the layers I don't know why they did this by by the default the layers is not showing up in the uh, earlier version of you don't have to do that it's, they, it's just going to be show up here I think it's a bug that Adobe did okay what I'm gonna do I'm gonna right click on this layer and I'm gonna duplicate I'm gonna click OK it's gonna duplicate the layer and then I'm gonna go edit and transform flip horizontally so and I'm going to uh, switch to the layer one to the, the first one and I'm going to move that let's real quick close this one just click on that I left button of your mouse and I'm gonna move this over here then I'm gonna enable that so it's right here but it's not perfect so I need to move it just a little bit to make it perfect in every way 
Okay, look like it's perfect. Just double zoom in. You can see my texture is so perfect. I use nice lighting and nice camera to take the shot. Okay. Well, it's sharp. It's not uh, blur. It's a good texture. Okay. I'm going to get rid of that white. So I'm going to unselect the background just click on that eye zoom out I'm gonna just so you're gonna see and I'm gonna go image trim I'm gonna click OK and it's gonna trim that okay what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna click select all and edit copy merge so I'm gonna copy both the layers if I would click copy I'm just gonna copy the layer that is highlighted over there if I'm gonna click copy merge I'm gonna copy what I see on the screen then I'm gonna go edit paste I'm gonna paste the layer make sure my layer on the top as you can see over here it's on the top so I don't need any more of those two layers but I can keep them just in case so but you can see the texture is not perfect people can see the stuff over here it's not perfect so what I'm gonna do I'm going to use zoom out and I'm gonna going to use the healing brush and about size of the 434 is nice with the uh, alt click on my keyboard holding the alt click and then with the mouse left click I'm gonna click once and release the alt so what it did it just copy whatever was on on our target and now I'm just gonna slightly place it over here with the left mouse uh, left button of my mouse click once and maybe over here click twice let's zoom out and see if we don't have any artifacts and you can see it perfect place it look like seamless okay let's do the same method healing brush and copy somewhere over here I'm gonna hold the alt left click of my mouse place left click of my mouse place then I'm gonna copy this area alt left click of my mouse then release the alt and left click of my mouse to place it whatever I like place Ooh, let me see what going on got some dark thing here oh, it's nice we can keep that it's not that bad and it's look like a part of the tree okay same method and copying and making my thing look realistically okay then I'm gonna copy over here Okay, let's see what we have. Let me zoom in and show you how quality it has perfect quality and it's look like a tree. With the perfect quality. Now nobody will tell that we just mirrored the texture. And uh, as you can see over here we have the same things. Let's make them different. But make sure that edges over here keep the same then this texture will be seamless when it's applied on something just make it like this so it's not gonna be the same nobody will tell us look it's look like it's the same texture and it's already not the same Okay. Well, we done that and look like we have the perfect texture. It's time to test it. So what I'm gonna do? I'm going to click. Now we can save it. Basically, 
No, just spend about five minutes to make perfect and make sure you don't touch the edges of the texture. So when you're gonna connect it with the texture to make it like in a line, those edges not gonna show up. Since it's mirrored image, it's going to be continued to be mirrored without for you to scale. Well, thank you so much for watching and please uh, subscribe to my uh, channel and I have some other cool stuff there I'm gonna use Morris Video Capture to capture all of this the software that I developed and uh, use Morris Video Converter to convert it into HD for YouTube uh, pretty soon those softwares is going to be available for you